In Germany lives a misfit named Rudiger Gam. His brain is a portal into the infinite world of numbers. People call me the human calculator because I am able to calculate better than a normal pocket calculator. And he processes information at lightning speed. One, six, eight, nine, nine. But the Iceman is not the only superhuman. Another hero has emerged in Germany. Rudiger Gam, a man with outstanding mental agility. Rudiger can do complex arithmetic in the blink of an eye. I will now try to divide a relatively low prime number, 109, into a two-digit number. I will attempt to go 100 digits after the decimal point, so I need a two-digit number from the audience. 93. 93 divided by 109. Null, Komma, acht, fünf, drei, zwei, eins, eins, null, null, neun, eins, sieben, vier, drei, eins, eins, neun, zwei, sechs, sechs, null, fünf, fünf, null, vier, fünf, acht, sieben, eins, fünf, fünf, neun, sechs, drei, drei, null, zwei, sieben, fünf, zwei, drei, neun, drei, fünf, sieben, sieben, neun, acht, eins, sechs, fünf, eins, zwei, sieben, sechs, eins, vier, sechs, sieben, acht, acht, neun, neun, acht, zwei, fünf, sechs, acht, acht, null, sieben, drei, drei, neun, vier, vier, neun, fünf, vier, eins, zwei, acht, fünf, null, drei, sechs, sechs, sieben, zwei, vier, sieben, sieben, sechs, vier, zwei, zwei, null, eins, acht, drei, vier, acht, sechs, drei, drei. But crowds weren't always so impressed with Rudiger Gam. As a child, friends were hard to come by. I had no normal childhood. I think the other children were a little bit afraid of me because before I started speaking forwards, I started speaking backwards. For example, this is forward. I was very bad in math, uh, backwards, same knee, that irref, so yeah. And when the tape is played in reverse, the words are perfectly clear. I was very bad in math. And to this day, the people of Veltsheim still find him as odd as an adult, as they did when he was a little boy. People think of him as being the next antichrist the guy who has a pact with the devil. I'm just very happy. We live in a time where you don't end up being burned at the stake for being someone with special talents. Some people called me the devil because of my ability to speak backwards. Some people are afraid of me. Many people think he's, he's crazy, he's not normal. But speaking backwards wasn't the only thing working against Rudiger. Ironically, he failed maths repeatedly. When I was at school, I was always known as the worst in math in the whole school. I failed school because of math, I think about four times. When Rudiger was 21, something extraordinary happened. Literally overnight, he was able to calculate better than a computer. 93 the power of five. Six billion, nine hundred and fifty-six million, eight hundred and eighty-three thousand, six hundred and ninety-three. This may mean that Rudiger is what's known as a sudden savant, someone who suddenly and unexpectedly acquires a special mental ability. Two hundred and forty-eight thousand, eight hundred. What triggers this phenomenon continues to baffle neuroscientists. I discovered my power at the age of about twenty, twenty-one. I read a book about numbers. I found a, a table with the powers. For example, one to the power of two, two to the power of two, three to the power of two, up to 99 to the power of two. And I memorized a lot of these numbers. A few weeks later, I started calculating with these numbers. And this was the beginning. First, my life did not change. It changed. One and a half year later, when I was in a German TV show called, it's called You Bet. Here is Rüdiger Gamm. 682 billion, 201 billion, 
Rudiger answers the question, what is 87 to the power of 12, instantly and flawlessly. Winning that game show was a big moment for Rudiger Gann. For the first time in his life, he actually felt good about being different. The moment I won this TV show, I realized that I am able to do things other people are not, 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 not able to. And from this moment, I was self-confident. But at Australia's Centre for the Mind, founding director Dr. Alan Snyder, the world's foremost scientist on human cognition and Savon syndrome, has some questions about Rudiger's abilities. What I'm fascinated about with Rudiger Gann is, is he possibly a, on the autistic savant spectrum? Dr. Snyder frequently conducts experiments that investigate peculiar abilities like Rudiger's. Abilities involving the instant recall of vast amounts of information. Some of them can remember every single day of their life. Uh, others have remembered almost everything they read. They have extraordinary memories. Now, these are people with brain impairment. But Rudiger knows he is more. He doesn't want to be classified as a savant, whose talent is due to brain impairment. So he will have to prove Dr. Snyder wrong. My greatest desire is that people in this world know my name in about three or four hundred years. And he may yet achieve this dream. When Rudiger goes to the Center for the Mind, he will reveal to Dr. Snyder something that has never been seen before. Rudiger Gam is facing a very different kind of test. He's flown to Sydney, Australia, to try and prove that he's not just a sudden savant, but an extraordinary mastermind. Dr. Snyder is convinced that Rudiger's mathematical talents are really not that mysterious. Is he what is known as a spontaneous savant? Savant is, is someone who has a peculiar, special skill, which I see almost entirely as mimicry. It's interesting, but it's not creativity to me. But Rudiger wants to prove that what he can do is more than just a memory trick. First, he must make it through Snyder's testing, designed to see if he notices details but misses the big picture, like autistic savants do. What we decided to do with Rudiger was to give him some tests for how literal he was. The first test will show if Rudiger has the ability to decipher a vast amount of detail in mere seconds. I'm going to show a number of dots on the screen. And I want you to guess how many are there. OK. Autistic Ready? savants almost always get the number of dots right. Average people don't. 130. 180. 140. 110, 120. How did, how did he do? Rudiger got full bullseye. Oh, he did very well. Snyder is convinced that his tests are exposing Rudiger as a classic savant. But Rudiger is not so easily labeled. You will see a picture. No. And the picture will change. You will tell me where it changed. He must find a subtle difference in the two pictures. Autistic savants okay. usually spot the change. The original change. The original change. But Rudiger doesn't spot it. I'm not very good in this. Rudiger is seeing the big picture here and not the detailed change. All of a sudden, Snyder's savant theory is called into question. The jet engine changed. Snyder is puzzled and has come up with one final determining experiment. 